Morning, everybody. It's uh, 1038. I'm sorry I was a little late on this, but I'm going to do two videos and I'm going to start with the silver. So as I mentioned on Sunday, um, both in the Discord room and in the uh, weekly letter, there's something going on here that I just haven't seen maybe ever because it's so outstanding to me that I just don't recall it ever happening before. So this is the weekly on the silver going back two years in order to get a solid look at it. This is the four year. The low down here is 1164. The high here is 2991. Now this is the actual commodity. This is the closest in month on a weekly basis. So in order to get an even better luck, this is the 20 year. And let me just go out to the maximum because I think that that's going to make a difference too. Um, all time high, $51.00. $50.36. This was the last time that we had in a serious inflation. This one in 2011, $49.82. Okay, so you see where it can go. And that's a very important distinction because as we go back to the weekly, what you'll see here is that versus those two highs, we are selling at less than half of that, as opposed to the gold, which is up about $38 today, but it's approaching its all time high at $20.89. <clears throat> so, um, this market is kind of a poor man's gold. I understand it, but it's also an industrial metal, which is why I'm going to do the copper next. But this has many industrial uses. Now, it was $20 basically six weeks ago. It's now almost $25, $24.97. So it's going to be $25 shortly. Again, pretty dramatic move but look at what has happened here on all of these moving averages you have the 20 first of all that 20 dollars was right into the teeth of this pretty major bottom i mean this is a bottom from june to november um before it started up and got stuck in this uh, 24 and three quarters area. Okay. Five day moving up, 20 day moving up, 100 day uh, moving up. I'm sorry, these are all weeklies, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing when they cross. And that's what they are doing right here. Now, the five has gone through both the 20 and the hundred. Um, that seems to be a very powerful setup when you consider that silver can move substantially higher without getting anywhere near its all time high. This peak was just over $30, $30.35 in February of 21. You know, COVID shutdown people concerned about money and banks, etc. Not unlike today, uh, at least on the people concerned about the dollar, the world situation, the wars, the inflation, which while it may have peaked is nowhere near where it has to be for people to actually survive. I mean, Jamie Dimon is one thing. I know that it's not going to change his life if silver goes from 25 to 45. Um, but 
inflation is inflation and it's still here. So I'm looking at this and what I'm seeing is in the grand scheme of things, I'm seeing a pretty interesting flag. Let's just draw this other one in so you can see what I'm talking about. Go to here. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the same exact thing in the copper. But as you can see, if we were to break out of this flag, I'd be surprised if we didn't, at the very least, first stop 35, second area of major support between 40 and 45. Again, this was 49.82. So we have a long way to go. Um, I would probably be using either the SL, I would use the SLV. Um, I would hope that we had some sort of uh, move back to the downside here, but that is not a given. You know, we're now just breaking above all of those tops. Let's look at it on a yearly. This is a daily chart. So you see, we're here. Next stop could easily be 26 and a half, 28. Again, very steep rise. Um, running correction here, breakout, running correction here. <clears throat> and we'll have to see what develops here. But I would definitely be a buyer on any pullback. And certainly if we got back to uh, you know, 24, 24 and a quarter, um, I would be all over this. So there you have it. That's the silver.